Hey, disciples of Jesus Christ, Jim McKnight here with the No Place Left Army Network. I want to share a couple of verses with you and talk to you about the Father's heart for the army. Jesus is teaching in Matthew 6, 9 and 10, and says, This then is how you should pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And he tells us in 1 Timothy 2, 3 and 4, exactly what that will is. It says, this is good and pleases God our Savior who wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. Well, in the United States Army right now, the Father's got a heart for the 850,000 soldiers and civilians that are employed by the Army. And that doesn't count their family members. And to what extent has the Father's kingdom not come to those people? And to what extent are they not saved and have they not trusted Jesus as their Lord? Well, about 30% of them are so utterly lost that they cannot be bothered to request even a Christian burial were they to die in combat. And so consequently, because Jesus isn't running their life, but they're running their own lives, we have these problems that the army is constantly working to solve. Divorce, drug and alcohol addiction, damaging sexual assault, and the hardest one, death by suicide. Now, the Army's doing some good things to work on this, but as disciples of Jesus Christ, we've got the real solution to healing the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we see here this blue cross inserted into that lostness because that is the message and the person that can bring healing. And so as the No Place Left Army team, we're looking for a committed team who will take the gospel to those lost people with a wartime mentality to exhaust all resources until that task is done, until there's no place left in the army where the gospel is not being preached. And we think we're going to need an army of about 2,020 laborers that can begin churches and equip others. And we need at least 30 of those laborers that are going to be so multiplicative that they can share the gospel, lead others, that are others to Christ, and then equip them to do the same as deep as the fourth generation and beyond. And we expect if we were to share the gospel with about 50 of those 250,000 soldiers, one of them would repent, trust Jesus as his king, and demonstrate that commitment by taking the sign of baptism. And so we're looking for at least 5,000 people who will repent and be baptized. All of this by the year 2020. And if that happens, these problems are going to go away. And slowly, that problem of lostness in the army will go away too until there's no place left where Jesus Christ is not being preached and lived out by his laborers. So here's our question. Will you join the team? We are looking for people that want to get involved in this mission and take up this wartime mentality. And if you're serious about that, watch our next video on our four-field strategy to make that happen. Thanks. Until next time.